Hello, fit bosses, and welcome to the Bang Your Buck Compound Workout. Now, this isn't really a workout. This is more like a uh, more like a collection of exercises that you probably don't perform in your everyday workout. So these are exercises that you can start to include into your normal operation S curve workouts or any program that you're following from the newsletters, right? So they're, bang for, they're called bang for your buck for a reason and that is because these are compound exercises that will give you the best results and they will help push you because 90% of the time you don't push yourself in the gym and we all know it so these are some of the exercises that you can do to uh, help change that. So let's go. Alright, so first exercise we're going to do, we're going to do the super rep squat. So you might have seen a lot of these exercises before mixed, mixed in with some of the videos or if you're on Operation s you might have seen some of these exercises as well. But these are all of them, all of the, those main exercises combined into this one video. Alright, so again remember you can just dig into this video whenever you're, you're feeling that you need a push and then these are some of the exercises that will help you change things up. So the first exercise is the super rep, right? So you can, I'm doing a goblet squat, but you can just do, do the normal squat. You know, hold it on the back of your, the back of your neck, back of your shoulders. But all you do here is you have a moderate weight. You can't use a heavy weight. You can progress to a heavy weight if you wish, but you'll probably fail. So you're gonna have to use a moderate weight, which is slightly lighter than what you'd usually lift if you're lifting heavy. And all you do is count down to five. So one, two, three, four, five, up quick. 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 So, as simple as it might seem, counting down to five, five seconds on the way down it is pretty challenging especially when you get to the bottom of the movement so the next exercise we're going to do now is the squat followed by a calf raise so it's not the super squat it's just going to be um, I'll, hold it, I'll hold it in the goblet squat position, position again but uh, it's a normal normal squat not counting down to five not super rep and uh, it's just simply squat and calf raise 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 so it's a uh, that's one of the combo Exercises. So if you remember one of the combination workouts that we did some while a little while back That is one of the Variations that we did there's tons of them. There's there's loads of variations for the combination exercises and um, We still haven't even covered most of those on Operation S curve yet unless We've done a one-to-one -one session on the program because we do do the um, You know we do customize the workouts for you Right, so if you're on the program, you already know that. So the next exercise is a three combo exercise, the deadlift, right? And it's the deadlift followed by a calf raise, followed by a shrug. So I'm not going to use a dumbbell. If I had a bar, I'd use a bar, but the, bar, the band is a better option for this, with the tools that I have with me today for this outdoor workout. So remember, all you're doing with the deadlift, you're picking something up off the floor. It's not ass to grass. It's, you know, drop something down here, pick it up. So look straight ahead so that you don't arch your back. Alright, it's not as normal. You know, knees behind the toes, feet 45 degrees out, point it outwards and come up onto your toes, shrug. And down, up, into your toes, shrug. And again, down onto your toes, shrug, down, put to your toes, shrug, down, put to your toes, shrug, let's do 
There's two more. Down. Put to your toes. Shrug. One more. Down. Put to your toes. Shrug. I remember the reps and sets you do will be different for whatever type of workout that uh, you decide to perform. Um, if you want, if you want to, you know, change up your workouts for a specific goal, which I know many of you do it are doing now for September, then uh, just send an email. Just reply to one of the emails on the newsletters, and you will indeed get a response from myself on how to change up your workout based on what your goal is. So those are the main three exercises, compound exercises that are bang for your buck. The last two I want to really do is the standing calf raise. So if you're inside the machine in the gym, right, get yourself underneath the bar, right, have the uh, barbell on your back, right, and make sure you have the step underneath and you stand on the step right on the edge so that you know the front parts of your the entire front part of your foot is on the edge and the and your heels are hanging off the edge so that when you come downwards your heels actually go down so that you can increase the range of motion so the bar will be there of course now the reason why i'm including the calf raise it's not that it's an exercise that you don't perform you probably perform the exercise all the time but the fact of the matter is most people cheat when they do this exercise they don't go heavy you know they don't go heavy for 20 to 30 reps it's too painful but the fact of the matter is that's where the growth will happen. That growth will happen at that pain point. You know, when you get to 20 reps, 25 reps, 30 reps, and it starts to kill, right? That's when the growth starts to happen. It starts to trigger that growth. And a lot of people just aren't going heavy and they're cheating. They're doing half rep, half raises, right? So you remember, you can do foot, your feet pointed forwards, outwards, or inwards. Do, all, do a variation of all three to work the entire shape of your calf muscles, right? So. It's an isolation exercise, and the reason this is included into this is because compound exercises by themselves are great, just like food is great when you eat it, but just like food, supplements will help, and with the workout, isolation exercises will help as well. So, you'll do the calf raise as normal, bar on your back, so it's all the way up and all the way down, feet all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. If you're inside the machine, and you're not gonna fall off, you know? There's no chance you can fall off because the uh, machine is keeping you in place, right? It's not a free weight barbell. The barbell is inside the machine. And uh, yeah, so do full range of motion calf raises heavy for 20 to 30 reps, please. Okay, so the last exercise I wanna do, again, is, an, is another isolation exercise that isn't really anything unique but well, it's an exercise that you probably don't perform that much to be honest it is if you've got a barbell i'm using a dumbbell here right i wouldn't use a dumbbell but it's the only piece of equipment i have outdoors right now for to uh, describe this exercise it's the standing wrist curl not sitting down standing wrist curl overhand not underhand so what you're going to do is you're going to have the barbell there try to use the curly bar if anything and uh if you don't have a curly bar it's not, not a big issue and you don't, what you do is you stand and you hold the bar there and you push it out a bit and then you curl it. So you're going to feel some, resi some extra resistance, which is what you really want. And you just do that till failure uh, for one or two reps, sorry, one or two sets, right? And the most important part about this is that you keep it away from your body slightly. You don't want to keep it out there, you just want to keep it, you know, good six inches away from your body and do full range of motion so it's all the wrist you know all the way down all the way up all the way down all the way up and that's it that is the bang for your butt workout but again it's not a workout it's a collection of exercises that you should be included into your workouts at some point so if you are doing your workouts and you haven't included any of these exercises that you've seen today in your workouts, add them because they will help. So that's it for today. And I'll see all of you in the next Fit Buzz random workout. Bye bye.